Hey, what's up guys? This is my shiny Galarian Slowbro and I just saw that everyone is spreading a lot of like fake information on how you get Galarian Slowpoke to evolve into Galarian Slowbro. So I just live streamed this game for six hours and beat the story um, and did a lot of other stuff in the DLC, including evolve Galarian Slowpoke into Galarian Slowbro. So I'm going to tell you exactly how to do it. Now, if you haven't gotten the Isle of Armor DLC yet, you of course do have to have this in order to evolve Galarian Slowpoke into Galarian Slowbro. And yes, you can have your Parker partner Pokemon follow you in this game. So the entire Isle of Armor is its own wild area. The whole thing is a wild area. There's raid dens everywhere. Literally everything you do, everywhere you go, it's a wild area. So you may know in the wild area, you can find sparkling spots such as this one right here. Um, that was a ball mushroom. But there's a new item in the Isle of Armor called a Galeric Twig. And when you pick these up, it says that it, a certain type of Pokemon likes these twigs. That's it. Someone told me that you use it to evolve Slowpoke into Slowbro, so I tried that, didn't work, figured out what it is. You have to collect eight of these twigs. So literally, a lot of times I found them next to trees, the sparkle next to trees, but also just the sparkles just in the middle of the ground with completely nothing around can be these twigs. So you kind of need to scout the entire Isle of Armor out, and even if you've gone through every nook and cranny, you might still be short a few. I had six when I completed my playthrough, so I had to go and hunt for two more. You then have to go to an island where you give all eight of the twigs that you've collected to an NPC. The NPC will then weave those into a bracelet, a Galeric bracelet, and then you can give that bracelet to Slowpoke, and then it will evolve. So it's actually a pretty uh, time intensive process. So the island is this island right here, this little green one. So the best way to get there is you'll fly to the Fields of Honor, which is where you first start in the wild area. Come on, you big lug. <laughs> um, that is shiny Slowbro, of course. And then you'll go out here. Now it's not this island that I that you can see in front of me. You actually can't ride your bike up that. It's completely walled off on all sides. However, if you keep going straight, you'll see this island right here. This is the island you're looking for. So once you get to this island, literally right here, this is the NPC you're looking for. You'll talk to her. Um, I've already talked to her once, so she said, oh, it's slow, bro. You gave the gal Galerica Cuff to Slowpoke. That's what it's called. Once you get eight Galeric Twigs, you get the Galerica Cuff. In that case, you can have this shirt too. Oh, great. She'll give you a Boatnuck sweatshirt for doing that. And we can do it again. If we collect eight more Galerica twigs, we can evolve Slowbro again. And of course, uh, since I did this live, I'm going to show you the clip of my live stream while I'm talking. I might have already shown it to you. I just want to get this video out as quickly as possible so people can start getting their Galarian Slowpokes. That's it. Me and my good boy here are going to say goodbye to everyone. Um, Shiny Slowpoke, of course, has the yellow um, shelter instead of the normal gray, which is pretty cool. But I hope you guys found this video helpful. I try to keep it short, to the point, directly the information you need if you've been struggling with this. Please feel free to smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I'll see you guys on a lot more Sword and Shield Isle of Armor content. Goodbye.